Well, it's Friday and that means it's time to get you weekend ready and we're going to have a beautiful weekend for baseball. 56 degrees now in Springfield. It's going to be so warm today, friends. But just a little FYI, the numbers you see here tomorrow. 10 or more degrees warmer with our pet of the week. This is Miley and she's a sweetheart. Yes, yeah, she is. Isn't she? Tell me about yeah, her. She's well, um, she's bless you. She doesn't like the grass pollen. <laughs> yeah, I understand Apparently. that. And I'm Greg Tanner. Kendall, it is going to be hot today. It was hot yesterday, so I can only imagine what today is going to feel like. Yesterday was nothing. Compared to today? Compared to today. Uh-oh. Going to get you into that forecast in one quick second. First, though, we go to the Thurston area where our live shot buddy. Opening day for the M's. It's soon to be upon us. Right-handed. Right-handed. So could you do it in under 4-3? I could probably uh, do it in 4-2. Yeah. 4-2. Two. Two. Maybe 4-1. All right. Maybe 4-1. All right. All right. How's the glove? Can you catch a little Are bit? Are you kidding me? Where I'm a pro. <laughs> what are you talking to? I went to Cubs games when I was a kid. High pressure dominating the region once again, and it's expanding. So we're going to have super hot temps. In fact, about 101 today for Roseburg. Low pressure off the coast of British Columbia. Now that will help Thursday to cool us off just a tad, but until then, well, we deal with the heat. Good, better, worse, better. <laughs> Much better. If you've ever envisioned yourself in the medical field, I see a great opening for you. Actually, two great openings right now. Welcome to this week's Workwatch Wednesday. It's going to be hot today, Kendall. How hot is it going to be? It's going to be so hot that <laughs> squirrels will be picking up nuts with potholders. <laughs> <laughs> if you're going to the ball game tonight, it's opening night for the Eugene M's. 7.05, first pitch. It'll be sunny and about 75 degrees at said first pitch. We, uh, <laughs> we went to the goat show in Roseburg. <laughs> Look and, at those ears. Isn't that a pretty goat? Yeah. So I thought I would uh, share some goat trivia with you. The Goat okay. Show at the Douglas County Fairgrounds. It was a lot of fun. So our trivia today, how many <laughs> stomachs oh. does a goat have? Would you say one, three, or four stomachs, Kendall? I'm going to say one. That's incorrect. It's wrong. How many stomachs do they have? Four. Now, <laughs> when I lived in Bainbridge, Georgia. I'm sure you had a lot of sweet tea. 1991 to 1993. Uh-huh. Uh, sweet tea. Yes. And you'd go into... Uh, a little uh, establishment. They'd mm -hmm. say, y'all want sweet tea? And I'd say, what? And remember when I first moved there, I said, what's sweet tea? <laughs> y'all don't know what sweet tea is? I said, I've never had sweet tea. And she said, I'll get you a glass of sweet tea, sweetheart. And I'll tell you, <laughs> I love a good sweet tea. We broke a record yesterday, Kendall, with the heat. Uh -huh. um, we topped out yesterday. This is a record breaking. 99 yesterday in Eugene. Now, the previous record heat for Eugene was it? 88 in 2001, 89 in 2002, or was it 93 back in 2005? What's your answer, please? I'm going to go with C. Nah, oh, you're wrong. Okay, I'm going to go with B then. Well, yeah. And you, then I'm going to go with A, a after that guess one. guess now, but you're still <laughs> wrong. She always does that, Barry. No. Beep, beep, beep. <laughs> okay, you're so wrong. what's the right one? Here's a seven-day forecast. Wait, you didn't see what the right one was. Oh, I'm sorry. What was the right answer? The answer, <laughs> B. Oh, that Previous guy, I said that's the second time. Record was 89 in 2002. And a good morning to Alice and Vince at the Roseburg Merchant Mall. It was nice chatting with you over the weekend. Gosh almighty, what a gorgeous, beautiful weekend we had. Okay, so, I don't know where to begin. Good news? Not as good news. The good news is uh, this low way up uh, towards British Columbia will help give us cooler temperatures, but not until Thursday. So we have today and tomorrow to deal with this high pressure off the coast of California that is just expanding and really heating us up so much. In fact, that uh, we have an excessive heat warning in effect. Uh, it goes in effect today at noon until tomorrow night at nine. And that is for uh, Douglas and Curry, Josephine counties, even the Willamette Valley and the foothills looking at a heat advisory today into tomorrow night and then we have a small craft advisory and that expires tonight at five o'clock. That's from Florence on down south. Very exciting. <laughs> there he is, the double D. It's David Daniel with the Hollywood Minute. How's that for the Willamette River? Lots of folks in the water. I put my hand in, kind of splashed around. Nice, cool water. OK, so when do we get relief? We'll be hot again today. Low 90s for Eugene, uh, high 90s for Roseburg tomorrow. We'll drop down into the middle 80s for Eugene and the low 90s for Roseburg. And then Friday, all right, now we're talking I-5 corridor on Friday 
we're looking at temps in the low and mid 80s. Average temperature this time of year right around 72 degrees, but this is an improvement. Even though it's above our normal temp, I'll take it. It's going to be so hot today, Kendall. You know how hot it's going to be today, Kendall? So hot that if you go and buy a loaf of bread, by the time you get home, it's toast. <laughs> All right. Uh, high pressure off the coast of California is going to inundate us with uh, warm temperatures today and tomorrow. The relief comes on Thursday. This low off the coast of British Columbia, it'll trickle down and it'll cool us into the low and middle 80s. But until then, we're hot. 101 today for Roseburg. We know that yawns are contagious amongst humans. If I yawn, maybe you'll yawn. <laughs> if you yawn, maybe I'll yawn. Are yawns contagious, though, amongst dogs? True, false, or Kendall, would you like to phone a friend? This is a very interesting trivia. I thought you would like this. Yeah, and I don't think I've ever paid attention to it. Okay. Um, I'm going to just say true. You're right. Yay! Yeah.